if you find the one, you should never give her up. I think it's the way life changes when in love, yeah. I surround my soul with the positivity. What's up, my babies and my BS? Welcome back to my channel. So, today we're going to be talking about my entanglement. So, without further ado, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe before you watch this video. And if you don't, I'm kidding. That's not going to happen. But make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to this video. And let's get into it. So, because this is my ordinary video, I'm not going to be showing what I'm using and stuff. So, basically, if you could tell from the title, I was in a little entanglement. And since this is a quick beat, I'm not going to be doing all that dramatic stuff that I normally do. But this had to have been late 2014, I think. I met this guy from church. That's how all my stories happen. Like, it has to be from church. But we started talking and stuff. We're going to name this person Isaiah. So I met Isaiah, but the thing about meeting Isaiah, Isaiah came with a friend. You know, you can't have the person without psychic. So, and just to let you guys know, Isaiah's friend, he, like, we already talked about making this video and he's okay with it. So it's not like I'm trying to bash him or anything. We're going to call his friend Gemini. If you know, you know. But, so, I met Isaiah and Gemini. I think it was convocation, but Jim and I was supposed to be for one of my friends. We gonna name her Stalker. So basically, let me give y'all a little an accurate story. So, um, me and Isaiah was talking. We exchanged numbers and everything, but then he just stopped talking to me out of nowhere. So then. I was just trying to help Stalker and Gemini out with their situation or whatever. I know, I'm a bad friend. I know, I know. So there was one time where um, Stalker had told Gemini that she loved him. <laughs> and for some reason, Stalker, um, Gemini calls me and it's like, yo, what's wrong with your friend? Oh, why, what you talking about? And he goes, your friend just told me she loved me after a day. He said it kind of scared him, which I would be scared too. Somebody telling me they love me, they don't even know me. Plot twist, I already knew she was like, she would say something like that, but I was trying to be with Isaiah and it wasn't gonna work if I got Isaiah and Stalker don't have nobody. I could have picked any other friend any other friend but i decided to pick stalker i don't know why this is how it started the entanglement really started because stalker had to go to bed like she was still on a little curfew i don't know why it was summer break or she might have been tired but um and we graduated so yeah she had to have been just tired jim and i was like stay on the phone he told me to stay on the phone so i'm like okay we was just talking and talking and talking and then he was like expressing to me that <clears throat> he didn't want to talk to Stalker no more because the way she was acting. And so I was like, okay, all right. I kind of peeped stuff like dead on. So I knew where that was going, but I was just thinking like, no, nah, it's not gonna happen to me. He not about to do this, not with me. He ended up like flirting with me and I allowed it. That's when things got a little more crazy because Stalker was still trying to talk to him. But I already knew, like, me and him started flirting. Like, that day when he told me to stay on the phone, we stayed on the phone for hours. Like, literally stayed on the phone for hours just talking. So I already knew, like, okay, I know the vibes. Mind you, this whole time, Isaiah still hasn't, like, contacted me or whatever. So that's what happened. Him and I started having feelings and I told him first I was feeling him and he was like, well, the feeling is mutual. Something like that, he said. You know, the little Gemini's, they like to play cool. Knowing he knew the vibes just as well as I did. 
So we ended up telling Stalker that he didn't want her. She started crying and all that. Honestly, I looking back at it now, I feel bad. And out of nowhere, I'm just like, hey. He was just saying like, what's up, what's up, what's up? And I was like, hey. And then we talked on the phone like that whole day. And I knew Jim and I felt some type of way because me and him normally be on the phone like every day. But we wasn't because me and Isaiah was. And I kept telling Jim and I like, oh, I'm doing something. I'm going to call you later. I'm doing something to call you later. But little did he know I was on the phone with Isaiah the whole time. So I put them on schedules. Like I talked to, um, because Jim and I worked and Isaiah didn't. So it went well. So in the morning, I'll talk to um, Isaiah. And then at night, I'll talk to Gemini. And then me, Isaiah pops the question and he's like, you know you my girl. Well, he didn't even pop a question, but he was like, you know you my girl. And I was like, yeah, girl. I was like, I'm old school, baby. If you're going to ask me out, you're going to tell me that you want to be with me. And he was like, will you be my girl? And... I remember I just started smiling from ear to ear. I'm like, yes, of course. Like, kid, you know, lie. As soon as he hung up, I was like, oh my God, Jim and I, how am I going to tell him? It just dawned on me that I was still talking to Jim and I. It had gone on for a little bit before I told Jim and I. I think I told him like two days after. And I just hit him with, like, I gotta tell you something serious. He was like, what, what, what's up? And I was like, um, your friend, Isaiah called. I remember I was so scared to tell him because I don't like hurting people's feelings, but there was no way to not hurt his feelings with telling him. But I finally told him, and I was like, me and Isaiah, well, Isaiah asked me out, and me and Isaiah are together now. Jim and I hung up on me and I tried to call him and try to call him and try to call him. He wouldn't answer me, he wouldn't reply. So then I was just like, I texted him and I was like, I didn't mean to hurt you, but you gotta understand. Me and Isaiah was talking way before me and you, so you shouldn't really be upset. <laughs> he was like, that don't matter. Like, you know what you was doing. Like basically, you know, putting me in my place cause as he rightfully should because I did I did what I did I was just like I'm sorry I'm sorry and for a while he didn't talk to me this is where I was like messed up all together I told him I was like um I don't have to stop talking to you just because me and Isaiah like I'm not gonna leave you like that like me and you kind of we have a bond now <clears throat> Karma definitely had came back around and bit me because I'm a nice ex-girlfriend. We're going to name her um, Philly. So Philly and Isaiah started talking behind my back. And then he was like, oh, I can't talk to you. And I guess I didn't mess message him back. So he was just like, it's over. And I cried. And then I remember I called Gemini and he I was crying really bad. He was like, what's wrong? What's wrong? He found out through Isaiah. Isaiah told him like, yo, I broke up with her. Gemini was so happy that he that we broke up. And I low-key was too because honestly, I really like um, Gemini better than Isaiah. And Isaiah will always be like, oh, why you like Gemini better? I look better. I got the better body. It's not all about that to me. Isaiah started noticing that I was I really wasn't caring anymore. And so he had one of my friends try to figure out, try to tell him what was going on. Like, she's on my side. She's not gonna tell you anything. I don't want her to tell you. Finally, I just decided to tell him, like, yeah, um, you know, I went to Gemini and I was telling Gemini everything that happened between you and I and he's been there for me. And so now I have like feelings for Gemini. And he was all hurt. Like he literally started crying on the phone. 
and it was like, please, like, please don't do this to me. Like, how are you gonna do that to my best friend? I'm like, you did it to him with his ex-girlfriend, so why are you so upset? And he started getting really upset. Like, I remember him telling me, like, when I see Gemini, I'm gonna fight him, and all this other stuff. And I remember I used to stick up for Gemini like crazy. Like, you're not about to touch him. I'll pull up, like, like extra, extra stuff. Gemini was like, wow, I really lost a brother and he did this to me and I still, I was still like rose with him. And honestly, I felt genuinely bad. So then I was like, you don't, we don't have to do this no more if you don't want to do it. And he was like, no, I still do. Like, I still like you. Pretty sure he said love because we used to tell each other we love each other all the time. But what I'm doing now, I'm just setting my makeup. Even though I told y'all this is not going to be a makeup look. Back to the entanglement. It started getting weird because, like, they hung together and I would see them both, like, at event. So it was it was one time, it was um, Harvest Night, Harvest Fest. I saw Gemini and Isaiah. I think Isaiah gave me a hug first and then Gemini gave me a hug. So it was awkward, like... Are we all cool? Matter of fact, we were because at that time, Isaiah kind of calmed down because he was dating Philly or whatever, so he kind of chilled out a little bit. Mind you, the girls from their church was grilling me like crazy. I even remember it was one time that same day, Isaiah had went to the bathroom. Well, he was walking to the bathroom, and me and my crew, we were already at the bathroom, like talking and chilling came and he was just like what's up what's up and we're all like hey hey Isaiah he was charging his phone I feel like he just wanted to be out there with us and also that was the day that me and Isaiah had kissed it was like one of his um church members a girl is like Isaiah you need to get back inside because at that time he was messing with Philly and he was like, I am, I am, I'm charging my phone. And then, like, when she left, he literally grabs my face and kisses me. Isaiah smoked cigarettes, so that was what I, I tasted. I'll just let you guys know, I did not like kissing Isaiah. Just give you guys a little word of advice. Please do not have an entanglement because... It gets wild and if the friends i mean and if the people that you're talking to are friends it literally messes up friendship you're messing with two people like you're you're playing with two people's hearts and stuff normally i will fill my eyebrows in but i kind of like them like this and this is supposed to be like a quick bead so i don't feel like filling my eyebrows in but um or maybe just up here you don't want to sound like a nasty person and you don't want the person the people that you're messing around with to get hurt i figured i'd finish the look since i'm basically done so i'll just finish it for y'all but let me know if y'all had an entanglement like, but you already know your girl so bye i'm just about to put lip gloss on that's it, so bye.